your former diplomat, uh, representing, I think, the U.S. to, uh, to Switzerland. Um, what do you make of, of Donald Trump's reception by foreign diplomats? The, 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 the questions that, that many internationally have about where the U.S. is headed. Well, there certainly was no, nothing objectionable in that tape, but the comments over the weekend about uh, NATO being obsolete, about trading Russian sanctions for for additional nuclear arms. I mean, my, my experience is almost everybody in Europe is terrified of what the Trump presidency may win, may mean um, for uh, this, the U.S.-NATO alliance. Um, I want to bring in the rest of the panel because I know they have questions. Also, Johnny says Kirsten Powers, the USA Today columnist. So I know, John, you had a, a question. For... I just, to your point about you're not going, are you not going because you had just have fundamental policy disagreements, maybe character disagreements with Donald Trump, or do you, like Congressman John Lewis, view him as an illegitimate president? Uh, John, I, I'm not willing to say he's illegitimate. I don't know. I mean, right now, he's certainly legitimate enough to be sworn in on Friday. Um, but the, the, the Senate and the House have not done their deep dives on the intelligence reports. We may find leg illegitimacy later. For the time being, uh, I, I think I honor President Obama's notion that he should be and, sworn in on, on and, and you don't think, I'm sorry, but you don't think you're hurting your constituents? He's going to have to make a lot of big decisions about you live in an area where there's a lot of your districts, a lot of Pentagon spending, a lot of federal workers. Um, you don't think you're taking you're going to hurt your seat at the table with him when he's making those tough decisions? Because, you know, his history, if somebody gets in his face. He tends to counterpunch back. He's not a hugger. If you offend him, you know, we so. noticed that with John Lewis this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no, I'm, I'm not. Maybe I should be. But what I'm finding is that most of the things that he's laid out so far on the environment, on women, on on national defense, Affordable Care Act, the way we treat federal employees, already my folks are scared to death and they're up in arms. So uh, I think actually there was a, a symbolic importance to my me members, my constituents, to say I'm not coming. Did you make your decision after John Lewis? Uh, yeah, I actually did, but not because of John Lewis, although I do think John Lewis actually gave a lot of Democrats cover. Jeff? And yeah, I, Congressman, I have to ask you, I'm, I'm being humorous here, but it's a serious matter. I, I, when I listen to you, and there are four Democrats in Pennsylvania, my home state, according to Dr. Terry Madonna from, from Franklin and Marshall, that are doing the same as you, I, I have to ask, are you all on Donald Trump's payroll? I mean, this is a guy who, who was elected president in part because he campaigned against Washington elites. And, and I can only tell you the political effect, it would seem to me, of what you're doing is to reinforce that impression and help him. I, I mean, did, did you think of that? Uh, I, I didn't think of that, and I hope that's not true. Um, and the fact that, you know, I, I think part of what I have to do is you have to be authentic. And his... That's the problem. They think yeah. you are being authentic. Well, I, I am being authentic. Cause, cause, and really, to John's question, it's not so much about policy. He's a Republican. He's going to have different policy perspectives right. than I do. It's more character. And it's the character that I don't like. It's the character that I don't want to but, celebrate. But how do you mm -hmm. represent your constituents who voted for him? He didn't get 100% in your district and so the constituents who voted for him don't they believe that their congressman should be there representing them at at the swearing-in I th well if I look at how Donald Trump did in my district which is about 20 percent <laughs> I think that if there was a poll in my district I think they would overwhelmingly tell me to stay home but are isn't there a way all that, Sorry, no, are you concerned at all that this might be setting a precedent though that we could start seeing this at every inauguration that people will find things that they find objectionable because okay. you're making a very different argument actually than some of your colleagues which is that John Lewis says it's illegitimate because it seems that there was Russian interference that's not really what you're saying you're saying I just I find him offensive and I think a lot of people could say they they find other people offensive is this a good precedent um, you know I, I would have been happy to go to George Bush's either one or George Herbert Walker Bush or both Reagan um, the policy difference is easier to get over because we come from different perspectives, we represent different constituencies. The character, I think, goes much deeper into who we are as Americans, what we value in terms of w women and each other. Right. I have, I, I, I'll let you go. That's what people would have said about Bill Clinton, right? There were plenty of Republicans who said they had serious issues with his character um, over certain things that had happened with women, in fact, and people still went to his inauguration. Yeah, um, I don't quite know how to answer that. Okay. I just know that for me to be authentic is to express it as I have now. But he is the legitimate president of the United States until proven otherwise. Uh, and yet, I think what's happening here, tell me if I'm wrong, is that a great number of people believe that he has demonstrated himself, especially in the transition, to be unfit in some ways to be president and to avoid endorsing 
uh, what his actions have been by not showing up. That's what people are telling me. But at the same time, to recognize the legitimacy of what the Electoral College did, what the people of the United States did, if there is something to be found out later, that's something else. Uh, and you want to boycott, which is really what you're talking about, I think, because you disagree with the man and his policies and find him abhorrent, come out and say that. But this is not about legitimacy. It seems to me he is the legitimate president. got to go. Uh, that I eloquently put, and I agree. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Congressman, I appreciate your time tonight. Coming up next, new report.